believe it's firefighter mama she's been asking some questions about how i get it get to everything this is like seriously all hands on deck here for mom today <laughs> Good morning. I get a lot of questions about how we homeschool and get it all done. Welcome to my channel, A Country Life. I'm Jennifer, and today we are working on a geology or rock and mineral Actually. unit. So let me just kind of share with you my thoughts on um, schooling just a tiny, tiny bit. So I think as homeschooling moms, we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to um, get all the things done math and reading and science and social studies and maybe some Bible time um, and maybe uh, FIED and nature study and just all the things. There's so many different topics of study that we could focus on. But one of the things that with homeschooling, it does afford us a little bit of time and the ability to kind of organize our day the way we want to organize our day. So first off, I do think that it's really, really important. Peter, stop that. <laughs> Just look regular if you want to be in here, okay? So first off, I do think it is super important to have an idea of what you want your homeschool to look like and what it is that you really want your kids to accomplish. And this is like thinking out, this is the bigger thoughts. This is not just the thinking like today I want to do a reading lesson or this week I want them to uh, practice tying their shoes. Okay, it's not that kind of thing. This is Yay, the much, shoes. this is a much bigger picture. So I think that that is kind of important. And I know that you could probably search all over online and find things where it talks about uh, kind of coming up with a family mission or a homeschool mission or a, a statement of belief, you know, things like that. So, but I'm not going to get into all of that. I'm going to let you guys kind of run with that on your own. So once you have that in your head as to what it is that um, your kind of overall goal for your kids and for your family, then you can kind of break it down from there. So we're going to be doing a rocks and minerals unit and we may only do this for okay, one day, book. not yet. So I have a whole bunch of different things that we're going to dig into here today. Some of it we've already started digging into. So my goal is to just introduce them to the idea of rocks and minerals and geology and then basically just kind of let them run with it. So we're going to do a bunch of activities today and this is kind of how we tend to homeschool for science. We don't do science every single day of the week. We might do it about one time a week where we actually do like actual activities. What are you doing back there? <laughs> where we actually do um, real science activities. Um, then the rest of the week I just let them run with it. Uh, we'll leave some of the things out that they can monkey around with and then I just let them make discoveries on their own. So for the Rocks and Minerals unit, um, I do have this book called Rocks and Minerals. It was just a very introductory book. Pick this up at, the, at your library for sure. Excellent um, look into igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic rocks. And then, guess what? In the back, they talk about, they Baby even show, crystals. yep, so most good science, um, you know, like readers or whatever, will have some kind of little science activity in the back. And so this one is making crystals out of table salt mm -hmm. and Epsom salt. I don't have Epsom salt, but I do have uh, a whole thing of rock salt. So we're just going to do two. Salt. We're going to do rock salt and then, yep, and then we have some table salt as well. That's just standard iodized, so we'll see um, how this all works. So we're going to get this set up. This is going to be fun. We're going to add some water, dissolve some salt, and then they're going to let it evaporate over a week and see what the crystals look like after that. Another thing that we picked up here is this Carson little handheld mini microscope. It has 60 power to 120 power in it. It has a light and you can just kind of put it 
on. Marie has been over here looking at all kinds of things. The wood table. I think she's been looking at rocks. They were looking at the box that the geodes have come in. You should look at the banana, but don't push it into the banana, but that would be cool. So this is, again, just another tool. Wait, very... can you see if they can see in there? Let's see. Let me look first. Okay, we'll see if we can look through there. Oh, look at that. So you can see the... <laughs> That's pretty cool. They've been just looking at all kinds of things today. Maria was looking at her pants earlier, and they've been looking at boxes and rocks and just all kinds of things. Peter, I want to look at the banana. Just don't touch the banana, okay? Because we don't want it to get mushy. Here, so those are the kinds of things that I like to just kind of have on hand to encourage them to do some exploring of their own. And... Um, and it kind of takes the pressure off of me completely because we just, I kind of introduce something for a whole day like this and then they just run with it. I'm going to run down the other items that I do have for our uh, rocks and minerals unit. So I did pick up this 10 geodes box. It does say for ages 8 and up someplace on there, Peter just pointed out, but I think it'll be fine. Okay, so we also picked up this National Geographic rock tumbler. I have some rocks from my grandparents that they picked up on some of their uh, travels years and years ago, and so we're going to work on polishing up those. And then this actually came with two pounds, no, two, yes, it also comes with two pounds of assorted gems, so we're going to work and get that going at some point. We also, I also picked up this rock on, I have no idea how to play this yet, but we're going to give that a try, and then we picked up, oh yes, <laughs> Darth Vader! <laughs> I also have this Earth Science DVD. Again, I have no idea if this is going to be good or not, but it says Rock and Learn, and I'm so I'm assuming that there are going to be songs in here, I think. It's one hour of Earth Science, and so I thought that that would be something fun for them to uh, watch on and off. And then what else did we pick up? Okay, let's look in here now. They want us to look in there. Oh, there's our countertop. Yep. And then the last thing that I have for us today is this Rocks, Gems, and Minerals. Uh, this is one of the little golden guides. I love these. We have a, a number of these golden guides. And they're just nice for um, the kids to look through. Sometimes we'll just read a few pages. as, And that's science for the day. So anyway... Those are the things that we picked up. I think that's everything that we picked up for this unit. So we're just going to have fun with all of this today. And this is the next thing we're going to do. Dad is home. Yes. Okay. From hunting. I'm going to see if he has antlers in the back. <coughs> what does it look like? Uh, no. Nope, nothing today. But he could have a doe because he oh? has a buck and doe tag. Okay. All right, so let's open up the fields yeah. and do something kind of active and pounding for a while. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> so the geode box did come with an instruction and learning guide, and I'm glad that I read this first page here <clears throat> because it gave us some tips on how to break them open without just crushing into a million little pieces. There's our geodes. Ooh, it's just like so much promise. <laughs> so the word lover in me really, really wants to read this whole learning guide to them before we start, but I know that what they'd rather do is just start by breaking into some of these, and then after we have some cool geodes, we're going to come back and uh, read from the learning guide. <laughs> So this is proving to be very, very hard to do. We were able to get one open. Maria, you want to show it to me? Yours has all those grooves. Oh, yeah. So it's got some shimmers in there. Hers is like a white, crystally. And Peter was working on his, but now he moved over to the one I was working on because he's not having any luck yet. No, not at all. I think we're going to have to maybe get a little bigger hammer. Peter's getting a little discouraged here, so hopefully we can... You got a little piece off of another one? They gave another method where you can put it inside a sock and, and then just kind of beat the heck out of it. I want to try And that would work, 
but they said you're, you run the risk of just getting little tiny pieces rather than it actually cracking in half. Yeah, because this is what it looks like when they crack in half. They're kind of pretty. I wonder if we need to dig some of that out. I don't know. They're going to have fun with these for sure. Is your chin open? Is it break? A chisel? Yeah, mine will break. I need a hammer to pound it. Oh! So we just had to bring dad in. Oh my gosh. Look at that! Wow, is that one pretty? Look at this one, Peter. Whoops. I'm gonna put them on the Whoa. That one's mom. Mom wants a rock. Yeah, they are cool. Oh, we got Joe to come out here and come on, hit take the rock part too. Really hard. Come on, Joe. Whoa. Oh, nice job. Whoop, that's a miss. That's a hit. Oh, miss. miss. Come on. Make sure you actually hit the hit. rock. Hit. Oh, come hit. on. There hit. you go. Hit. Okay, so now that they spent plenty of time banging and banging and banging got a little energy out now it's going to be time to just sit down and watch this movie I this actually this. okay yep maria got a little cut i'll get to it in a second so this actually says it's for grades three to eight but i think that it's going to be just fine for them if it seems too advanced they'll probably just gradually get up and walk away and whoever's interested will sit and watch <laughs> Peter's getting super excited here to open up the rock tumbler, but I wanted to ask him, what did you think about that movie? The Earth Science movie that you watched before? I think it was good. It was good? Like, just a little good or really good? Uh, I liked it. You liked it? How about you, Maria? What did you think of that movie before? I loved it. You loved it? Why? I don't know. You don't know? This pencil. Oh, you like that pencil character guy? Yeah. yeah that guy. Okay, so I just want to talk to you guys for just a second here about how we do science and then you typically how we do history or any of those things that are not math or reading. So what I like to do is just pick a day and we just do all of it in one day. So rather than where what I used to try to do is make a schedule like Monday through Friday and Monday we would read a book. Okay, so like I was saying, before Amber came in and had a conversation with me. Um, what I like to do, or what I used to do, is go, we do something on Monday, and something on Tuesday, and something on Wednesday, and it would all be on like the same topic, but it was inevitable that something would come up one of those days, it would set us back, and then I would feel like we were always running behind, and then, I don't know, then we would try to play catch up, and it wouldn't always work how, we, how I had wanted it to, and anyway, I just felt like we were getting behind, so. So you guys, shh, 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 for just a second. They're looking at a fairy tale book while I yak to you guys. Um, so now what I try to do is, like if we're going to do sort of like a unit study or we're going to do just some kind of topic, I just get a bunch of stuff. We do it all in one day, and then I just let them kind of go about the week or discovering or exploring on their own. So definitely, I hope that that helps to answer the question because I believe it's Firefighter Mama. She's been asking some questions about how I get it get to everything. Um, I don't get to everything. <laughs> I know that I don't get to everything, but we try to get to as much as we can. And so that's <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I hope that that was clear enough for you guys that we just try to pick one day and just cram it all in in one day as much as we possibly can. I'll do the same thing with something like, let's say we're going to do like the first Thanksgiving when it gets to be November, which is literally just right around the corner. But what I'll do is I'll no, get a bunch I'll of those books right like, I know, but like um, Sarah Morton, I think it's like A Day with Sarah Morton and A Day yeah. with Samuel Eaton or something like that. There's a bunch of those books and we'll just read a whole bunch of them, a whole bunch of them in one day, print some coloring pictures of the first Thanksgiving giving maybe you know make up a uh, first i don't know what we'll do but anyway we'll just do it all in one day Peter, let that you know kind of is? This is uh, um, process in their mind throughout the week and it's amazing what kinds of things they end up uh, coming to me and saying mom i want to do this now because i was thinking about such and such and now i'd like to do that so okay let's get to this
so we just learned something very, very important if you're not familiar with rock tumblers. And it says that it's actually going to take about four weeks of tumbling in order to get polished rocks. It says, so be patient. Best results come to those who wait. Okay, so I don't wait. how it works is there's actually four levels of grit. And so we have to put in the roughest grit, and then you just keep going to finer and finer and finer grit numbers. So it does give us some tips for getting the best results, so we're going to read that and get this thing running. This is like seriously all hands on deck here for mom today, but I'll give it my all today and then they'll be able to just kind of play and have fun with these things the rest of the week. Okay, so this game that I found, I found this on Amazon, Rock On, and it's pretty cool. I was reading this and it actually was designed by a mom, I believe here, and her they were doing like a rock, at rocks and minerals birthday party for their son and she designed this game and they had so much fun that she decided to actually make it into a game that she could sell you, there's many levels you can also make it into sort of a bingo slash trivia game pink green purple and orange levels and i believe that this is the easiest and it goes down to the hardest level and so that's what we're going to do it's kind of like half bingo half trivia this I is really i don't know what trivia is this is kind of fun it comes with these already polished gemstones these these are just like the bingo markers and then it also comes with the actual samples it does say to rinse these underwater so we're gonna just get going on this game see what kinds of trivia questions we can come up with and see what we can learn about rocks right maria i don't even know what trivia is trivia is where you ask questions and the people have to answer them mm -hmm. 